My record is one of progress, not platitudes. My record is one of specifics, not smiles. My record is one of performance, not promises. But I have no intention of standing on the record alone. We will continue winning the fight against inflation. We will encourage urban programs which assure safety in the streets. We will ensure the integrity of the social security system and improve Medicare. We will create a climate in which our economy will provide a meaningful job for everyone who wants to work. And as we go forward together, I promise you once more to uphold the Constitution and to do the very best that I can for America. God helping me, I won't let you down. I'm Hillary Scolson, and I approve this message. That's a new re-election campaign ad from Democratic Congresswoman Hillary Skelton of Michigan. The ad, as you heard there, using the voice of former Republican President Gerald Ford, who held Skelton's seat for more than two decades in Michigan. The Congresswoman is the first Democrat to represent that district in over 50 years. And Congresswoman Skelton joins us now. Congresswoman, thanks for being with us this morning. Tell us about the message you wanted to convey by using Gerald Ford there. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, coming to you live here from an actual kitchen table in Battleground, <laughs> West Michigan. Um, you know, the, the message is one of traditions. Uh, this is a bookend to the, the first ad that I launched about my deep West Michigan roots um, and how though some things are changing here uh, in terms of party, Many things are staying the same. Gerald Ford is a political role model of mine. You know, this is about talking about my own record of bipartisan, solution-oriented service leadership, uh, but also the, the future, which is going to cling to those traditions of the past. So, Congresswoman, let's talk about the state of Michigan. Obviously, Vice President Harris, who I understand is going to be in your district in a couple of days, needs to win Michigan. She's putting a great emphasis on that state. We know it's incredibly close looking at the polling. I think the Harris campaign would tell you their internal polling has it tied as well. What will be decisive, not just in your district, but in the state of Michigan? What are voters waiting to hear there? Yeah, well, you know, the, the path to the presidency truly does th run through Michigan, and it runs through West Michigan as well. You, you increasingly cannot win statewide without winning in West Michigan, without winning in my district. And the things that matter here are the, the things that matter at the kitchen table, right? The, the issues of the economy, housing, affordable health care, and the issue of reproductive freedom. There is no more greater uh, economic decision that a family can make than whether, when, and how they're going to start a family. Michigan codified the right to protect reproductive freedom with a ballot initiative in 2022. It's still top of mind for voters that that can be taken away with a nationwide abortion ban. So I hear about it all the time. So Congressman, one of course, the major issues there in the state of Michigan is anything that has to do with the automotive industry. And we've seen Donald Trump really push uh, an argument about EVs, uh, some of them not true, and what he, he is saying that the Biden-Harris administration is requiring. Could you talk about what actually is true, but also weigh in on the impact that argument is having as polls do tighten? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, Michigan put the world on wheels and we are going to keep it moving forward. Uh, you know, here in Michigan, we don't care what kind of car you want to drive, but if the next generation of autos is going to be made somewhere, we want them to be made in Michigan. And I think that's the point that is really getting lost in a lot of people. This is not about dictating the kind of car that you want to drive, but it is fighting for a competitive share of that next generation of vehicles. And, and we don't want to be left out, right? We don't want China running away uh, with advancements in the auto industry. We want those to be made right here. You know, it's, it's very rich that President Trump is trying to own uh, a record on the auto industry when, you know, he promised not a single factory would close here in Michigan under his watch, and no less than three did. We lost more than 9,000 auto jobs while Trump was president. The Biden-Harris administration is bringing them back while keeping us relevant and competitive in the future market. 
And it means jobs. Participating in the and EV means economy means jobs for Michigan and other places. Finally, Congresswoman, let me ask you about the election itself in your state. Obviously, all the, the seeds of false information uh, dating back to 2020, looking to 2024, suggesting there's something fishy with the election process. Uh, you have a strong attorney general in your state and secretary of state as well who have said this election will be secure. Are you confident that it will be this time around? I'm confident that we have the best possible leaders uh, at the helm making it so, but I'm also confident that, you know, folks are going to try all kinds of political shenanigans uh, and, and even criminal activity to do what they're willing to do uh, unconstitutionally to overtake this election. That's why it is so critical that we take back the House so that we have a, a Democratic majority that is committed to certifying the election results. Republicans today will not commit. The Speaker of the House himself will not commit to certifying the results of the, of the of the election. Here in West Michigan, it's not only a critical presidential race, it's my race too, a critical battleground where we're fighting for control of the House and an open Senate seat. There's, there's almost no place in the country that is more politically significant, politically consequential than right here in West Michigan. And a lot of those legacy Ford uh, Republicans are remembering, you know, that it's so important to put country over party. And that's what's at stake this election. Michigan is where a lot of the action is. Democratic Congresswoman Hillary Skelton of Michigan will let you get back to that kitchen table, cinnamon toast crunch, Pop-Tarts, Wheaties, whatever <laughs> breakfast is this morning. Thanks Get for joining us. There we go. <laughs> All right. Appreciate it. Thanks so much.